All right, welcome to uh, another unboxing. This is a Shumi order I did because there was a 15% off your order and I forgot what I ordered now. I ordered, I ordered one pop that I know I've been wanting to get and never got and Shumi had it and now I'm like, I'm gonna go ahead and get it. And then I got two from a Disney movie. I think I got another Disney movie one. Did I? Oh, no. I don't remember. But shoot me what I did. I did it on February 18th. And it shipped later that day. On the same day. February 18th. And it arrived February 22nd. All the way from California. So here we go. Error. Alright. So there's four pops in here. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, now I remember. <laughs> okay, now the great thing about shooming, when you get the in-stock pops, is they ship them in pop protectors, which is always a plus. So, nicely packaged, which actually I think you can kind of see. So let's start with... Hmm, let's start with the earliest one in here. This is one I've been needing to get. I have the Sam Wilson Captain America from the Falcon and the Winter Soldier series from Disney+. Plus. Uh, I wanted a better one instead of him just standing, but the problem has always been that certain exclusives were harder to get, and I'm just like, I don't want to keep waiting for it, and I wanted a, I don't ha I never did get a Falcon Pop, so getting the Sam Wilson as Captain America is one that I wanted to get. What do I do next? We do these two. Um, this is from... These two are from the same Disney movie. Um, I decided to get them. I, wa I wanted to get Encanto, but they don't have the Encanto ones yet. So I think I have it set to notify me when they become available. So I can get them from there. Instead of pre-ordering from somewhere else. Because um, either I'll get them when they're available or I don't. But this is from one that was earlier in the year, like I think March. So it was about the same time that Falcon and the Winter Soldier came on Disney Plus. This also arrived and it was released on Disney Plus. And that is the Raya and the Last Dragon. So I got Raya and Sisu. Um, number 999. And, uh, 1,004. Um, can't remember. Which one is 1,000? Oh, 1,000 is Tuk Tuk, and they didn't have Tuk Tuk. If they had Tuk Tuk, I probably would have got Tuk Tuk just so I could have Disney number 1,000. But we got these two. Um, of course, Sisu's the one that's voiced by Aquafina. And I don't remember who voiced Raya. I could probably look that up later. And then I'll just put the name on it or something. I don't know. And then we have... Siri, which was the last one I needed from The Witcher. Because there's only four characters that have been released for the Netflix show. And I got the... I got the Yennefer first, but not this Yennefer. I got the Bam... Uh, I keep saying Bam. The Books A Million exclusive Jennifer. Um, and then I got Geralt, which is the common Geralt, but it has a, a, a chance of a chase, and I managed to get the chase, so I'm very happy about that, which I also ordered from Books A Million. And then I got the Yaskier, the Bard. I got the Hot Topic exclusive one. So not this one. Uh, the one I have, he's in blue and has his uh, guitar. And then, um, now I finally have Siri to complete The Witcher. And all of these come in nice pop protectors. They, they leave the little plastic thing on, so that's why it looked a little cloudy. But once you take the cloud off, I mean, once you take that off, it's, it looks better. Um, so that's nice because I've actually been, I'm actually running out of pop protectors and I don't really want to order more because it just, it just confirms that I'm getting too much now. 
But these are nice ones. I like the shoe me ones. It's much flatter on the top too, so it's better to stack. It's sturdier. Then I don't have to worry about putting them in protectors because they're already in protectors. So, um, so it's a little, a little hodge because so, all these are technically Disney. And then I got this outlier. <laughs> I can't even fit it all on one screen. So, got my Cap America finally. They had a lot released for this, by the way, because here's the rest of the set. And I didn't realize how many they had for it. You have Falcon, Winter Soldier, which I don't like that they call it Winter Soldier because at that point, he's not really the Winter Soldier. He's He's been t deprogrammed. The one... When he was at Wakanda, they successfully deprogrammed him and removed it. So he's no longer the Winter Soldier. Um, and actually, at the end of Black Panther, the post credit scene, they were calling him White Wolf. And it's like, I don't know why they don't refer to him as White Wolf now, but I don't like, I, I, I really didn't like, it, like him being referred to as Winter Soldier because I felt like he was no longer Winter Soldier. <laughs> Can we just call him Bucky? That's why I always called this the Falcon and Bucky show. Anytime I referred to it, I never said the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I'm like, Falcon and Bucky. I'm going to just call him Bucky. You have the John F. Walker Captain America, but it just says John F. Walker. You have a Falcon flying. You have Winter Soldier Zone 73. You have this Captain America. You have U.S. Agent, which is John Walker changing his U.S. Agent. And then you have Sharon Carter. What I would have liked would have been Falcon, Captain America, flying. And I can't remember what it was exclusive to. If I remember to look it up, I'll put the note somewhere on the screen. What that one was. I think there was a flying one, and it was exclusive somewhere, and I don't know where it was exclusive to. And I got this. I actually like this movie. It's pretty good. Um, I think the Disney movies overall have been pretty good. Uh, the animated ones, at least. <laughs> Can't say the same for all of their live action. Um, them doing a lot of the live action, re uh, uh, redoing them as live action, the animated ones, I, I, I don't really... Some of them were fine, and others... I felt like Cinderella was probably the one I felt like it was the most worthy, or most useful one, because I felt like with the Cinderella, which was done like in 2015, I think, which I took my uh, I took my sister to go see that. So I saw the live-action Cinderella in theaters. Um, I felt like that one... The <sighs> little... Plastic film is on the inner flap, so I gotta take it out so I can get these off. Um, I felt like that was actually pretty good because I like that we got a little bit more backstory, and you had Haley Atwell. <laughs> you know, Captain Carter. Well, Captain Carter and what if Agent Carter is what we've mostly known her as. I didn't get all of this one, did I? I didn't get these flaps. I didn't get the side flaps. I know, at some point it just seems like I'm rambling when I'm doing stuff like this. But I felt, I felt like this was a pretty good movie. It was a little different than other ones. And I kind of like some of the Disney movies now where they're, they are different. You know, like if you look at the, like the Disney movies I grew up on, you think of stuff like Aladdin and Beauty and the Beast. It's always like the, the main girl and at the end she, you know, marries Prince Charming or whatever. And it's like, it's boring. So, I find this to be a lot more interesting when you get stuff like this. Encanto was actually good. Um, I liked Moana. was real good. And that one's a little older, but... Moana's one I don't have a pop-up. I, I need to get Moana. I was, I was going to, but I didn't want my order to be too big. And I figured I'd still have time to possibly get one before hopefully don't sell out. So, alright, so that should be it. Um, 
uh, we'll, we'll put Sisu. We'll put Sisu. There's Sisu. Look at Sisu. And, um, night.